my pep star just touching base with you you know it's your number one pep tutor and I know your exams are coming up very soon and I just wanted to share some additional resources with you I know you've been watching all the videos I know you have the ability test playlist on repeat going through all of the past papers and all of the different topics that we'll be looking at in the ability test examination i've also shared a new yes a new fun ability test quiz for verbal reasoning i'm gonna be sharing the quantitative reasoning video shortly still working on it still processing my private classes plus you know i cannot leave you guys out so i'm gonna be sharing some additional resources that you can use online to prepare yourselves for the 2025 pep examination because you know we're all becoming highly proficient right so stay tuned and watch till the end of this video so i can share the additional resources that will prepare you for all the different categories the verbal reasoning and quantitative reasoning category questions that will come on your examination so here is the first resource that I'm sharing. So this is the indiabix.com. So I'll share the link for this website in the description box. Which with this website, you can click on the logical reasoning category and you see all the verbal reason type questions that will come on the examination so here's your artificial language question your essential part and your analogies and here's the classification we also have our letter and symbol sequences and there's others too as well students i urge you to go onto the website i'm putting you on and here's the thing that i've also found out about this website this website has been used by the ministry of education so here are your artificial language questions and then you scroll down this is a past paper question legitimately just as it is this is a past paper question i forgot the paper that it's on but i know this one for sure is on the 2023 past paper while the ministry would change the words in the artificial language itself the english translation was pretty much the same and these answers were the same and this was the correct answer and the great thing about these websites that i'm sharing you don't have to wait on your teacher to actually mark the answers and give you feedback when you select the incorrect answer it will be grayed out and then when you select the correct answer you see that it's correct and it gives you the option and it also goes a little further by giving you the explanation and these are just like fun little quizzes to do you can do as much as you can so with these um questions you have different question banks so we have type one type two and you can do as many questions say your goal for today is to do the type one question so you complete all of these questions and then tomorrow your goal is to complete the type two and you will do that and then you finish that set and you go to the essential parts and again for each of these categories you have multiple question banks and you have multiple questions to choose from you complete the one on the first page and then you go to the second page and then again for every single one that you're selecting you see what is correct and you see the explanation students use the resources that i'm giving they're very vital so i'm going to be moving on to the next type of website that i'll use to prepare the students for pep also in my private classes so i'm sharing insider information and this is just because i want everyone to be highly proficient so on to the next website all right here's the other website it's studyadder.com again i'm going to share the link in the description box below this site has helped my students tremendously i've been using this since the inception of pep and if you looked back at older videos i would have shared this website as a pep resource for ability test preparation from the inception of pep and 
if you use these two resources that I'm giving you today, guaranteed you're going to be getting a hundred percentile on your ability test examination. And let me break that down so it it's very clear to you. For all the types of questions that will be coming on the examination, you need, you need to go and watch the verbal reasoning and the quantitative reasoning type question videos. I'll link them somewhere in this video to tell you all the different types of questions that will come on the examination. And that's how you're going to know which one of these questions that you should actually look at. So we know the analogy, right? In the previous video, I looked at the central part, artificial language and so on, and their series completion. There's a, there's different types of sequence. There's alphanumeric sequence, number sequence, and alphabet sequence, right? Which one is different? All of these are the types of questions that will come on the examination. And then you also have classification and analogy, and you also have your quantitative reasoning questions as well, right? Now, if you know the types of questions that will come on the examination, again, I've shared this before. Go back and watch the previous videos. Analytical reasoning, those are quantitative reasoning questions. If you know these type of questions and you click on these question bank and then you do as much practice as possible, the ministry cannot bring anything that you're not familiar with. And therefore, once you see these questions, you'll know how to approach them. And that's how you're going to get the 100%. What I like about the in, the study at our website, along with the India Bix, it also gives you the explanation once you click on the answers. But what it does is to do a step further. So here's the question bank. And if you scroll all the way down, so it tells you sixth here, you see notes. So what that provides you with is a summary or a tutorial on what each of these type of questions are like a full-on tutorial that gives you every single detail now for analogy and classification it goes through every single type of analogy that could be constructed whether it's a um, employee work relationship um, whether it's a synonymous relationship an opposite relationship it tells you all the different relationships that can be established and it also gives you examples and then you can go ahead now and practice on a question bank these are the things that i go through with my students right so i say this to <clears throat> urge you and these are just like little fun activities use the time wisely and prepare assiduously keep going through as much questions as possible you don't want to be under prepared for your examination all right so let's see what this looks like so here's the question bank and then you click practice now and again as i said similar these i'm just looking at the question bank as i said i just showed you how to get to the notes go on to the website students become familiar with it use it a lot and and you can literally share it with all the different students in your class and otherwise just so that they can also become very prepared for the examination so here's an analogy and you'll see incorrect incorrect clearly you're not going to press it like this but you're going to try to reason it out and figure out the answer i'm just doing it for demonstration purposes and then you see the one that's correct and as i said you can view the solution right not going to do that now but, you know, I'm just showing you how that works, right? Again, students, use the resources. It's very important that you do, all right? And I wish you all the best on your examination. So continue to use the resources. And as I get more resources, I'm going to be sharing them with you, all right? So thanks to everyone for watching today's session. Remember to use the resources that you're provided with from this channel and the external resources that i've shared i'm going to try to do some more resources before the examinations and know how that can be because i do get absorbed in my private lessons but i'll still try to put as much information on the channel as possible 
but I really do urge that you watch all the videos in the ability test playlist trust me it really has a host of information that are still current as when they were posted I've reviewed all the ability test examinations from 2019 yes to 2024 so you also want to watch those videos and again I wish you all the best on your examinations if I'm not seeing you before your examinations yeah. all right pep stars yeah. you know we can do this and we can all become highly proficient so I'll see you in our next video if I'm able to upload another face-to-face -face video but I'll definitely upload part two to the ability test quiz which is the quantitative reasoning section so i look forward to you also watching those videos and please share 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 we don't want to be on the information and not putting on our classmates and our other friends on these videos so share as much as possible remember to like and subscribe so you know when a new video is also posted all right then.